Hi, I'm Ashley, self-proclaimed resources nerd and staff member at Futures Northwest. In this series, Northwest Career and College Connections, I'll be interviewing folks from local colleges and apprenticeship programs in Whatcom and Skagit County to highlight new and important information so that you can take your next step after high school with confidence. Today's guest is the wonderful Victoria Ritaskett from Northwest Indian College. Victoria is answering questions today about admissions, resources, and financial aid so that you're supported in making your dream into a reality. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single tip to support your future success. Got a question? Leave it in the comments section below. Welcome, Victoria. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. Yay, thank you for joining me. So can you tell me a little bit more about yourself and your role at Northwest Indian College? Yeah, definitely. So my name is Victoria Ritaskett and I serve as the Dean of Students at Northwest Indian College. And I've been in that role for approximately seven years now, which blows my mind. Um, I am a graduate of Western Washington University. Um, I got both my master's in higher education administration and a bachelor in American cultural studies at Western. And so I'm very grateful to be able to come back to the tribal communities and be able to work with students in tribal colleges um, specifically, and then ensuring that they have all of the necessary resources and support that is available to them. Uh, and then to just really promote Northwest Indian College and the unique offerings that we have as an institution. Yeah, thank you. Um, what would be your best advice for incoming first-generation college students? I think that's a great fit for Northwest Indian College specifically because we are primarily serving first-generation students. Um, the majority of our student body and our incoming students are first-generation students, and so you know we know that that comes with many um, unique challenges and obstacles that a student who has a lot of family support that knows about the ins and outs of college life um, will be able to support and help them through. But I would say that the most important thing is to know that you're not alone, that you have lots of support and resources available, not just in faculty and staff at the college, but in other students who are going through the same journey. So we have really great support networks for students that are run by you know, staff and faculty that really care about our first generation students, but also a great support network among each other. So students are really their, their peers' um, best support system. So we yeah. have lots of clubs and activities that, that really help them focus on the academic portion rather than, you know, stress about the, the other outside um, factors that may come along with, with being a first generation student. Yeah, thank you. Um, What's your favorite part about being a member of the Northwest Indian College community? Oh man, to pick out one favorite thing is very challenging, but I would definitely say that the family aspect, the really community-driven aspect of the college is my favorite part about working there. Uh, we consider you know, everybody that comes through our doors part of our family, and that is inclusive of all of our students and you know, faculty that have worked there for 20 plus years, staff that have worked there for 20 plus years, we really develop a, a sense of um, strong familial community ties and bonds with one another. We support, we support each other, you know, through family events, gatherings. Um, we like to come together and share a meal and break bread with each other quite often and um, to help students feel like we are their family and their home away from home while they may have to, you know, get through their educational goals when they have family that are multiple states away. Um, so I think that's my favorite part about the Northwest Indian College community. Yeah, I can attest to that. Every time I visit, it feels that way, 100%. It's such a beautiful, warm, welcoming community. Um, what would you say is most unique about Northwest Indian College? Um, there are quite a few unique factors. Um, to me, the number one sort of highlight of being a unique institution is that we are a tribal college. And so there are only 37 tribal colleges and universities in the United States. Um, we are under the umbrella of what's called the American Indian Higher Education Consortium. So we have a strong partnership with all the other tribal colleges 
And what's unique about Northwest Indian College is that we're the only uh, tribal college that is in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so the closest neighbors that we have are in Montana um, or up in Alaska. So really we are you know, regionally serving all of the tribes in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Um, and we get lots of students from you know, all over the United States and Canada, including the Southwest, the Plains, um, we get a lot of students from Alaska. So we have a really diverse student body when it comes to you know, um, students in, with tribal backgrounds. That's awesome. We are so lucky. I just can't emphasize that enough to have you all right here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about housing on campus and how a student might be able to be matched with roommates or anything else you would find important housing wise? Yeah, definitely. We do have two different types of housing in North Visiting College. We have what we call a residence life center, um, which is more traditionally sort of the dorm style housing. Um, they're, we're a pretty small institution. So our on-campus housing, which is that residence life center, only has 65 beds. Um, so it's a two-story um, building that has both two and three bedroom, and then even some four bedroom, um, or not, sorry, four bedroom, but four bed. Yeah. Um, rooms and some of those four bedrooms are they have the loft um, upstairs so that's kind of nice um, but because we're not so big really it depends on um, you know the male versus female which we, we it's all combined so that you know we we house all of our male students with male students and so sometimes that is the priority factor in just being able to ensure that everyone can fit into that um, smaller residence life center but we do also take into account different lifestyles and we do a survey for students when they move in to say, you know, what are your study habits? Um, are you a night owl? Um, do you consider yourself clean or messy? Um, you know, what type of study environment do you like? We try to take all those factors into consideration so that students have a place to live that they feel comfortable in and that they, you know, can get their best work done. So um, that's when it comes to the RLC, but we also have what we call family style housing. Um, so we have one and two, one, two and three bedroom apartments available off campus. So if students may have a family, they can apply for those as well. It's really closely located to the college. It's probably about a half a mile down the road. Yeah, I think that that's really unique um, that Northwest Indian College offers that family housing as well as someone who went back to school as a non-traditional student with children. Like I always appreciate it when higher ed institutions factor in that not everyone is going to be um, without a child so or without a family member with them. So I really appreciate that about you all. Um, let's see. How would you recommend a student get connected with campus life and the community and really integrate themselves? Yeah, that's another great question. I appreciate kind of like I mentioned earlier that we sort of have a natural, um, you know, environment that lends to really community building and being a part of, you know, um, cultural events and cultural ceremonies. Um, we often will arrange for transportation or participation in our local tribal events and uh, you know ceremonies and things like that so if students from far away are interested in participating in those kinds of things maybe have never seen you know something like the canoe journey before or um, you know local powwows or things like that they have the opportunity to participate um, so i would just encourage students to um, you know, really see what there is available and to, you know, if they're really interested in it to perhaps do something like start a club or start an organization that might be related to that event or activity. Um, when I very first started at Northwest Indian College, my original role was in student activities. And so it was so much fun to see students um, get started in, you know, ski and snowboarding club or, you know, now we have a music club or we have so many different kinds of, um, you know, opportunities for students to participate. We really encourage students giving back to their community through service learning projects and uh, activities. Um, so that's just one of a few of the variety of ways that they can get involved. Awesome. Um, what would be the top three resources you would recommend a new student connect with within the college? 
Yeah, definitely. The um, probably the number one thing would be um, scholarships, scholarships, scholarships. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's no reason a student, when there's so much money out there available for students, should you know have to worry about financial aid or scholarships. Um, there's so many opportunities. Um, students that go to a tribal college have some additional opportunities. We work really closely with a. Uh, uh, organization called the American Indian College Fund yeah. that provides really great scholarship and support for students, not just financially, but in a lot of ways um, through their academic career. And, you know, there's just such a variety of resources available um, that I would say don't feel afraid to just start applying for scholarships. Ask for help when it comes to, you know, writing your um, letter, your personal statement, or something like that. Um, there's just too many opportunities to let those go by. Um, so that'd be one, I would say two. Um, another you know, resource that a student should know about would be at North Lassine College specifically, just our faculty and staff. Um, yeah. Everybody at the college is committed to and works at a tribal college with the intent of supporting students and helping them achieve their goals. Um, we, you know, when we get students who may not know about opportunities, they might feel a little bit nervous to just ask questions or for, to ask for help. And so it can feel really paralyzing and scary to not know what your next steps are. Um, but I'd say that our faculty and staff are more than willing and 99% of the time go way above and beyond for our students and ensuring that they're successful. Um, so that would be the second one. Um, and then the third, I would say, um, the third resource at North Sitting College. Um, is what we call our Center for Student Success. Um, and that is the building that I work in, but it's also just sort of our commitment to student success philosophy. Um, we do our best to sort of be, I guess, what we call a one-stop shop so mm -hmm. that students have access to the majority of the resources and staff that they need to when they come to the college. Um, it's, you know, for one, it's located in a beautiful building with a great view of campus and things like that so that's nice but then too it's full of staff and departments that have access to those things like scholarships and financial aid um, our academic advisors um, our trio support staff yeah. um, all of those different you know events or departments that um, that are really geared toward ensuring students are successful yeah awesome well, thank you so much for joining us today, Victoria. I really appreciate you so much. Um, and for more detailed information on today's video and other resources, check out the show notes below and feel free to leave any questions or comments for Victoria or myself. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more resources and information to take your next step after high school with confidence. If you want even more great resources, you can check out our website at futuresnw.org. And I hope to see you next time on Northwest Career and College Connections. Bye.